Okay, so here we are outside of Torres del Paña National Park in Patagonia on the Chile side. This is Julie LaSalle and Julie, what are you doing here? We are studying the peatlands here in southern Patagonia from about 51 degrees south, which is where we are at now, all the way down to 54 degrees south and along an east to west gradient. We're interested in two main things. One is how much carbon is sequestered in those peatlands. And the second thing is, what can we learn from the Paleo Climate Archive contained in those peats? And uh, we, f we found a site a couple of days ago that was almost eight meters thick. There's some cool ash layers, tephra layers here, so we can already have a guess that this peatland is probably 12,000 years old. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good potential for knowing how the atmospheric circulation has been changing here and how the westerlies are changing. So why do you do a gradient? Why do we do a gradient? Because uh, we're just on the eastern side of the Andes here. And so the westerlies are the main mode of transport for the precipitation. But as you get farther away onto the dry side, the, the precipitation gradient is changing really rapidly from being kind of a rainforest from down here into the prairie and it's bone dry. And that's just maybe five kilometers across. So we want to take samples all across that east to west gradient so that we can better reconstruct when the precipitation was changing over time. Cool. Yeah. Okay, let's take let's pan in on the peat bog here cuz I remember there's something very unique about it. That's right. So this peat bog here, it's really dark red. You can see that probably and so it's the carpet is pretty much dominated by Sphagnum magellanicum, which is pretty typical. But then if you see these little conifer trees, they look like Christmas trees, they're cypress, and they're only found in the wetter eco-regions around here. Awesome. Those well, thanks. Cool. We'll return for more information a little bit later.